the end. That's that's all the video. This is <laughs> um. But yeah, it's just like um. This video, we're gonna talk about some movies. Uh, we're actually gonna calm down from the stupid shit. But anyways, one thing that I love what movies do is when they have good screenplay. And what I mean by that, let's say for example, Whiplash and Birdman. Those are real, two really good movies that have really good screenplay and have really good shots in them. And, and I think that is uh, really good for movies if they have that. Because it, it all depends on what the viewer like thinks on how they react to uh, what happens in the movie. Like, usually I don't like the Paranormal Activity series because they're you they usually don't have good screenplay and that can make a movie bad. Um but yeah if if we take something like Ash vs Evil Dead and or the Evil Dead series itself, um, including uh, Army of Darkness, um, they could have really they have a really good screenplay. But, um, some people think it's too cheesy for them, and that's okay, because it is a bit cheesy, so be warned for that. If you ever plan on watching it. But yeah, I, uh, I usually like seeing movies around, like, October and November. But, um, like... This could also go as well as animated films, like, like let's say, for example, the Peanuts movie, or, uh, or just, um, like, any 2D movie or 3D movie that is animated. Like, honestly, Frozen was pretty at some points. People think that Frozen was pretty up throughout the whole entire movie, and it, and they enjoyed it a lot. It just depends on what the viewer thinks or uh, reacts to certain things during the movie. But yeah, I I guess I could make a movie analyzation channel because I'm really good at this. I am good at this. <laughs> Not just saying, oh, I'm better than everyone else, but uh, I'm just saying you could do better this <laughs> no um but anyways um like let's say tv shows like uh right let's say family guy in south park south park has good animations that are that can be really clean at some points though it's entirely made well, earlier, uh, it was entirely made throughout cardboard and other materials. Um, but it honestly looks really nice, which appeals to the viewer and um, to people who re like to review movies itself. Um, I am good with this gun. But anyways... Uh, My, like, what I think about uh, a lot of movies is that they could either be so bad where the point that it's hard to watch, like the movie Baba Duke. I didn't like that movie at all. Like, oh my god. Even the jump scares and the spooky things, which were trying to be spooky, but that weren't spooky, they were even bad. Even a good, like, and that's really easy to do. And this full on talking shit on that movie even that from now on. But there's like some movies that either, and the thing is that movies can push it like for too long. It's like, uh, why won't you end it already? 
as well as Babadook. It, it, it just held it out too long. And like, with Sin City, I know it's like, like, people were probably confused, like, oh, it's at the end of the movie, let's leave already. <laughs> but, like, it's three stories in one, but, um, I didn't feel like it lasted too long. It didn't feel like it lasted too short, either, because, well, if you only watched one of the stories, and yes, that is horrible, but, um, but, yeah, this... <clears throat> That's usually a thing that happens often with movies, like... Wait, what, what movies are there? Um... I guess we're just blabbing on about movies. <laughs> Still. But, um... Honestly, Scott Pilgrim's... Scott Pilgrim vs. The World um, that screenplay was, was too good. <laughs> and, like, this one, a lot of movies have good acting and good screenplay. It, it can make a movie fantastic. Like, let's say, for example, with Whiplash, not Whiplash, I think I already mentioned these two movies before, but, uh, Whiplash and also, um, uh, Whiplash and Birdman um, have really good screenplay as well as I was saying before, but whatever. Um, and if you haven't seen those movies, I recommend watching them. Because some points they could be really good. <clears throat> they could either be really good or really bad, depending on what movies. Uh, you're watching and um, I guess the rest of this video will be determining on just playing with without saying anything but uh, yeah I'm just w really excited to see some movies that are coming out um, maybe some new I I don't know oh yeah I forgot to talk about one thing, it'll be in the next video, um, it'll be another topic, by the way, besides movies, but, uh, yeah, we'll go to that one after this video is done, so, yeah, yes, it's Thursday, <laughs> um, I don't know why I said that, I thought I wasn't, I thought I ended it, I thought I ended this video. Oh well. I forgot we were continuing it, but uh Yeah, I just um what makes me what people think that I'm weird. I don't know, people think that I'm weird because uh I listen to podcasts like the Cro Cox and Crendor podcasts when like, barely people at my school listen to podcasts, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I honestly really like that podcast. Um, although people are like, eh, whatever. We don't care what you think. But, still. Still. I just say that a lot. I, I don't know why. Um... I guess I should get good. Uh, well, another thing is is that um, I'm just waiting until the giveaway ends for uh the Astros and the Elgato and Blue Snowball Mink. But I'm glad I entered the giveaway. Um. Even though I might not win, it's still, like, a fun thing to do. I, I know I have a pretty decent mic, and I don't know. It sounds a bit good, but I could just up the quality a bit with some some things that I could do to um, increase that a bit. 
<clears throat> oh man. Nope. E what about right here? Nope. Yeah, I'm just waiting until I unlock the Ripper. Or what's next? Is it the one with the... Oh yeah, Scythe. <clears throat> Yay, I'm 32. That didn't have an icon. Yay. I love when things don't load. <laughs> But yeah, I guess this video was good. Um, I guess we could just end it right now. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And see ya.